Hello everyone, this is Sangeeta Kumar, Senior Embryologist at OVA Fertility and Women Care. We have with us Dr. Snehal Dobale Kohale, Consultant Fertility Specialist at OVA Fertility and Women Care, which is situated at First Floor Vedant Hospital, Thani. Uh, this video is a collaborative effort of both of us to make sure that uh, we medically and emotionally support all the uh, patients who are infertile and to give insights about uh, the common queries which uh, they have. Uh, generally, infertility is not a disease. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It has become nowadays a social stigma. So uh, we would like madam to address like what is infertility and when do the patient uh, have to come and meet you? Uh, at what point they have to come and meet you? Yeah. As you rightly said, Sangeeta, that infertility has become a lot of social burden these days and almost 15 to 20 out of 100 couples are suffering from infertility. Now, uh, we call a particular couple as an infertile when they are trying for a pregnancy for almost about one year of time without using any contraception and they are not uh, succeeding in achieving pregnancy. Now uh, the next question comes is when they have to come to a doctor. As I said uh, for the young couples when they are almost trying for a year then of course they need to meet a fertility consultant or if suppose the age at trying is generally if more than 30 years female age more than 35 years if they are already having some problems related to the menstrual cycles like irregular periods or some gynecological problem known problems in both male or female partner they really need to meet a doctor especially a fertility consultant and now a days actually i'll make it a point to say here any couple for that matter wherever you are planning a pregnancy, ideally you should meet a fertility consultant. It, it doesn't mean that you are having a problem, but why we should you know, wait for a problem to occur? Let's prevent it. Means when they come to us uh, preconception, like even before the conception, we can assess their health parameters. So they can achieve a pregnancy when they are having optimal health. At the same time, we give them a good counseling. We give them uh, insights about how the pregnancy happens naturally. If needed, certain tests would be done. Mm -hmm. We decide the fertility timeline for them. We plan fertility for them so that they can achieve a pregnancy whenever they want, but by simpler natural means. And probably by this proactive step, they would be able to avoid further need of unnecessary advanced treatments probably. Uh, thank you so much ma'am. So uh, we really came to know what is actually infertility is. But again there are lots of people who tend to uh, ask me when they come fertility. Uh, conception is a natural process but still uh, what is the reason behind uh, the infertility? Yeah, uh, that is there. So even though it has been a simple natural process, but then there can be sometimes problems related to the female partner, problems related to the male partner. Sometimes there can be problems in the both or uh, sometimes there is no problem actually detectable, which is something called as unexplained infertility. So when we come across some problems in the females means what? So problems related to the eggs, that means irregular ovulation, which is something uh, very commonly uh, having problem these days is like PCOD, which is the hormonal imbalance mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes low egg reserve, mm -hmm. eggs are getting exhausted early or some problems related to the tubes when the tubes are having infection, blockages or problems related to the uterus. So these can be there can be any of these problems, maybe single or maybe multiple. Mm -hmm. At the same time, in the males, we see problems related to the sperm count, sperm motility. And uh, as I said, uh, some problems cannot be detected and uh, they are just constantly uh, unsuccessful achieving a pregnancy. So that is something unexplained infertility. 
so yeah to understand uh, these actual reasons we need to offer certain investigations for these patients so we prefer to do investigations simultaneously for both the partners uh, so in a females we assess first the egg reserve mm -hmm. which is by hormonal test these are simple blood tests mm -hmm. most importantly amh as you know that is anti mullerian hormone which is the hormone of the egg reserve mm -hmm. and basically we call it as the uh, fertility uh, timeline and guide mm -hmm. for our different uh, mode of treatments and the method of uh, treatments then we do other hormones like thyroid testing prolactin and different basic tests mm -hmm. at the same time we prefer to do transvaginal ultrasound which gives us idea about the uterus which gives us idea about the actual egg reserve that is antral follicle count mm -hmm. and if there are any other problems and uh, oh, so yeah. do you actually do uh, prefer uh, pre treat uh, endoscopy before the treatment uh, yeah uh, that is a good question but yes we prefer endoscopy but not for all patients okay. even the tubal test like uh, tubal x rays and all mm -hmm. not for all at the first go mm -hmm. whenever there are suspicions of tubal problems like pelvic infections or certain clues on the ultrasound mm -hmm. like some cyst some fibroids or mm -hmm. some uh, uh, like you know infected tubes like hydrosulfings in those patients we prefer to go for the endoscopy that is laparoscopy and hysteroscopy for them okay. yes uh, and this was all about the tests which are offered to the female partner mm -hmm. and uh, so sangeeta can you just enlighten us about the test which you do uh, for the males okay uh, so as you know the semen analysis is the mm -hmm. gold standard diagnostic uh, yes. tests mm -hmm. it is very simple and mm -hmm. cost effective mm -hmm. usually we tend to assess the semen parameter mm -hmm. so basically we check for uh, the macroscopic examination and the microscopic examination in macroscopic we check for the volume the liquefaction viscosity ph and the color of the semen sample and in microscopic we evaluate we count the sperm that is the sperm count then we check for the motility of the sperm and we assess the morphology usually we check for any head defect or the neck defect or the tail defect and also we check for the sperm vitality so these are the basic parameters we check for uh, in the semen analysis yeah. though we have a higher uh, options like to go for a zinc and evaluation of their deficiency but still Uh, this is a basic and we follow who 2010 criteria for yes that. correct and uh, some people uh, i mean of course they have the curiosity mm -hmm. like uh, madam what is the normal count normal motility so can you just tell us about that so uh, the sperm count greater than 15 million per ml or the sperm concentration if it is greater than or equal to 39 million per ejaculate either of one mm -hmm. that is normal so it is the normal count yes. and in motility we have the total motility and the progressive motility if the progressive motility is greater than 32% or the total motility is greater than 40% then we consider that as a normal value correct yeah mm -hmm. as uh, that was a really good information mm -hmm. for our viewers and uh, as you rightly said this is the first line mm -hmm. and if i just like to add one point mm -hmm. if there is certain abnormalities seen mm -hmm. then we go for the hormonal test for the male mm -hmm. if no. needed yes. yes yeah so being an embryologist i know the importance of ivf and the ivf treatment but is there any other uh, treatments offered for uh, the infant couple Yes actually very good question asked mm -hmm. by Sangeeta so yeah as you rightly said yes ivf is one form of advanced treatment mm -hmm. but uh, fertility team doesn't always mean that we are here to offer you always an ivf mm -hmm. there are so many basic treatments for the fertility so being a fertility specialist even i would not like to do mm -hmm. ivf for my patients i would always like that they conceive by simpler and natural means and mm -hmm. earlier so there are different ways so for this basically we need to analyze the history of patient well okay. we need to uh, guide them with the right investigations mm -hmm. and this is something called as the fertility planning okay, okay. and mainly 
the time limit factor in all these factor is the egg factor okay. because as we know that mm -hmm. with the advancing age of the female the egg quality egg number will go down mm -hmm. so as i was discussing amh which mm -hmm. is a very right hormone mm -hmm. which gives us insight about the egg reserve okay. so this hormone according to the level of those hormones mm -hmm. we uh, guide our treatment mm -hmm. and we choose our treatment the duration of that treatment when to move on to the next level so in this basic form of treatments like ovulation induction with natural try mm -hmm. or iui mm -hmm. what we do is we give ovulation induction medication to make sure that ovulation is happening in that cycle we track the ovulation then it will uh, have the timed rupture of the follicle so that we can exactly precisely know the timing of the ovulation and accordingly they can try naturally for some months as i said depending upon the amh we decide the duration of these kind of treatments if not the other option is at the time of ovulation to put the washed sperms in the uterus that is something intrauterine insemination so uh, and these basic treatments have pretty good success rates like uh, of course the natural try would be having 2 to 3 percentages of success rate mm -hmm. but definitely iui gives us at around 15 to 20 percent of the success rate and uh, that is a very good form of basic treatment when we do it at a right time mm -hmm. uh, with the right indications mm -hmm. definitely i would say that it would be able to avoid ivf mm -hmm. Uh, later in those patients and yes because uh, as we know ivf xc is the highest advanced treatment definitely there the success rate is higher like 50 to 60% mm -hmm. so uh, that was all about basically the treatments uh, and here uh, for all our viewers i would like to add on that we wanted to create just the awareness actual information about the infertility about the reasons about practically how we analyze these problems how we timeline how we manage uh, these kind of problems well uh, so definitely please i would suggest that don't keep any taboos coming to us approaching us because we are here to help you we are here to plan your fertility well we are here to give you right guidance at right time mm -hmm. so definitely uh, we would be able to achieve our dreams like you know achieving the pregnancy completing the family uh, in a proper time uh, whenever you want with the simpler natural means thank you